I'm out here in 100 degree heat testing out two bottle coolers from Amazon, Amazon's Choice versus Amazon's Best Seller to see which one comes out on top. Stick around to see who wins. It's the Asobu versus the Bottle Keeper, Amazon's number one bestseller versus the Amazon's Choice. Let's first take a look at the unboxing overview and then get started. The Asobu I paid $29.99 for, the Bottle Keeper I paid $34.99. This is an Amazon number one bestseller. This is an Amazon's Choice. They both have a 4.6 star rating. This one currently has about 9,000 reviews. This one has about 6,000 reviews. Both of them say they're insulated. The only significant difference is that this one actually can work with cans as well. This one cannot. Open this up real quick here. We got some more stuff here. This is basically can mode. You just stick the can in there and it holds it in place. I'm not worried about that too much right now. We're kind of focusing on bottles for this video. Bottle keeper. I, I like that the cap is attached. That's kind of a nice feature. Uh, there is a padding in the base here. This can kind of replace your cap so you can keep your bottle uh, protected. Uh, this one does the same thing. I will say on the bottle keeper, I saw more complaints that they're saying it's basically some uh, aluminum with some, some foam inside. So and that's, kind of, that's kind of what it seems like, but maybe it works. So that's the preliminaries. Let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple beers in these and I'm gonna do one without any cooler at all, just as a control unit and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna be using three Coronas for my test. You could use any beer, I'm sure. I haven't really been drinking as much beer lately as I used to. When I do it's something like uh, like Bourbon County, which if I'm gonna drink a Bourbon County, I'm not gonna need a cooler for that. It's not gonna last that long. I don't even know if it would fit in something like this. All right, so let's get started here. The Asobu comes in four parts. There's the cap. If you're gonna use a can, this part can come off and this stays on. This can also come off. And these typically stay together when you're doing it with a bottle. All right, so we're gonna put the Corona in here. And then we put, I'm doing this based on how the video on, on Amazon shows it. This is what they were showing. And then this has a bottle opener built into it. So let's see how that works. slightly below average bottle opener, I would say. And then I'm leaving this open for right now, but we're gonna cap it off in a second. All right, bottle keeper, a little bit different. This has three parts. You have the cap, which is tethered, I like that. And it has the base. The way they were showing this one on Amazon was they put the bottle on the table. He put this over the bottle and kind of slides it on. There's a bit of a resistance there. And then the cap goes on last on the bottom. This also has a bottle opener right there. I, I would say the bottle opener for the bottle keeper is a little bit better. And then for the, uh, the control Corona, we're just gonna use, I'm gonna use the magic opener, which I reviewed a few months ago. Not great, not great. Let me test the temperature of these before I even take them outside. All three of these are showing about 45 degrees, 44. Almost 44 and 44. Stopwatch has begun since I've already opened them up. Here we go. Cap this one off. The cap on the Asobo was a little bit awkward, but I, I got it on. Now this may or may not screw down all the way according to the instructions. It, it depends on how tall your bottle is. So they say not to worry about that, just to keep turning until it stops. And it's not even really turning. Oh, I had to push it down. All right, I had to put a little force there. All right, okay. Sobu bottle keeper. I'm just going to stick this cap back on the Corona for now. All right, time to rush these into the blazing heat and see what happens. All right, current temperature in Las Vegas is about 100. All right, the table it's sitting on is also 118 degrees. So we have 100 degree air, 118 degree table. The stopwatch is going. I'm going to come out in 30 minutes and take the temperature again and see how they hold up. Bailey's wondering what I'm doing over here. She's got to come investigate. She's looking for a lizard, actually. She caught one last week. It wasn't pretty. I'll come back to the 30 minute mark and see how it goes. All right, time out. Before I get to my first test, I should point out that I like to include all of my tests in my videos, even if they don't go right. Uh, and this first test, I would say, really didn't go according to plan. That's because I immediately realized that the thermometers I had weren't long enough. So all I was measuring is the top part of the beer, which is the warmest. So I don't think my very first measurement yielded anything valuable, but here's what happened there. All right, with the 30 minute mark, let's go check it out. First up, bottle keeper. Bottle keeper showing 72. I don't know how impressive that's supposed to be, but Sobu, it's not that impressive either. 75, 
Regular Corona shows 95. So at this point, I knew I wanted to do at least two more tests. One more actually took a temperature of a more mixed version of the beer. Another one where I actually put it in my mouth and drink it. The overthinker in me started trying to decide if I wanted to drink it first or drink it last. So I compromised on myself and decided I would do three tests. I'd measure some in a glass, then I would drink it, and then I'd measure the rest in a glass and hopefully come up with a consensus. And I did. That posed a problem for the first test because if I wanted mixed beer in a glass without pouring all of it, I might get some of the warm stuff. So I decided I would just shake the beer. I know you're not supposed to, but I did it anyways. Even though the methods may not be perfect, I still think I came out with a clear winner between the two bottles. So here's how those three tests went. Well, that didn't work so well. Those thermometers are not long enough. I'm gonna have to improvise something quickly here and maybe make a mess doing it. I'll pour some in a glass here, some in the glass in the shade, and hopefully come up with a consensus measurement. I'm gonna kind of shake a little bit. I know you're supposed to do it, but I'm gonna shake anyways. Shake it, bad idea. Who cares, right? Oh. I shook a little bit too much. We want, to, we want it from the bottom though. Shake it. Oh, I'm making a mess. All right, let me see. Bottle keeper 66, 67. A Sobu. I'm gonna say 62. And the regular Corona, 85. Oh, I made a mess, but it was fun. Forget these thermometers. Let's see how the drink test works. Bottle keeper first. It's cool. It's not cold, but it's cool. A Sobu. Hmm. It feels a little bit cooler. The Naked Commando Corona. Hmm. Hmm. Warm beer. Hmm. -mm. On a hot day, nothing beats it. So finally, I poured the rest of the beer into a glass and measured each one and the Asoba was clearly better. It was about 10 degrees cooler than the bottle keeper. Out there, it was about five degrees cooler. I've just poured them in the glasses here. Let's do a quick test here. Asobu, all right, in the 50s, 59 degrees. Bottle keeper, oh, warmer, definitely warmer. The naked Corona, not good at all. All right, so we have, I think we have a winner. Let's do a retest here. Asobu, in the 50s, barely. Bottle keeper. Uh, can I get it in the 60s? Uh, no, I can't. Can I get this one in the 80s? <laughs> Maybe in the 80s. So to me, the Asobu is the superior product between the two of these bottle coolers. I think that its vacuum insulation is better than the foam insulation of the bottle keeper. I like the bottle keeper's cap better and I like its bottle opener better. I just feel like as far as insulation goes, the Asobu was a better of the two. Once again, this was not scientific, but I do think it gives a pretty good idea of which one of these is the better option. But if you've tried either one of these products, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. You're still here? Well, I'm gonna drink the Asobu. That's the only one that's kind of cold enough to really drink. And then on to the next video. But I do appreciate you watching.